Hi, welcome to Brandt Agricultural Products walk around of our new 15 series oil seed certified field belts. Brandt's been manufacturing field belt conveyors for a number of years now, and we offer proven performance and versatility for handling any crop on your farm. And the new oil seed certified package further increases that versatility to allow you to handle oil seed crops for the first time ever in a field belt conveyor. The oilseed certified package is available on the Brandt 15 LP plus series field belts as well as our 20 LP series. So that includes a 45 and a 55 foot length model to go along with the 47 and 52 foot models in the 15 LP plus series. To create an effective solution for handling oilseed crops or other sensitive crops that can cause damage to the belt, Brandt spent a significant amount of time researching and understanding the behavior of the product while it's being conveyed it, to understand and identify where the critical leak points are throughout the system as well as the key points is where oil seeds become crushed and start to damage the back side of the belt. What happens is the canola get leaks to the back side of the belt where it becomes crushed by one of the return side rollers and what that does is release the oil from the seed and let it saturate into the back of the belt. That oil then starts to deteriorate the nylon backer of the two layer belt and causing the entire belt to shrink. What this does is cause undue wear throughout the belt and lead to the risk of actually damaging or breaking and tearing the belt. It can also cause damage to the additional components within your conveyor system, including rollers and bearings. There are four key areas that Brandt wanted to address before we were confident enough to put the oilseed certified label on these products. Those areas included the belt, the belt cleaning system, the roller system, as well as the belt sealing system throughout the entire product. Once we have addressed those areas and we saw the behavior that we expected to see from the product while it was being conveyed, we knew that we'd be able to put up to a two year warranty on these products for use in any product. In order for our customers to be as confident in this product as we have been, we wanted to test this unit extensively. The 15 series LP Plus unit was tested with over a quarter million bushels of canola in our test facility. We started with the belt. The belt is a unique design. We wanted to change the compounds used in the belt to be more oil resistant. We worked with a dedicated manufacturer to create a Brandt designed belt. This meets our specifications for oilseed resistance, which allows the rubber compounds to, and the nylon backer to withstand the effects of the oil when saturated to a far greater degree than any other belt in the market. So with the unique V pattern tread of the belt itself, it keeps the product within the center line and away from the edge. It doesn't allow it to push out over and underneath the seals or get caught here in the sides where it then churns and gets pushed out. We've also added in a raised ridge where the pattern terminates about an inch away from the edge of the belt. It gives us a nice smooth, consistent surface for the double lip intake seal to create a more consistent effect when conveying the product and transitioning from the intake through the transition and into the main tube. Brandt identified the transition from the horizontal plane of the main intake into the main tube as one of the primary leak points of most product that causes damage to any conveyor belt. What happens is the product gets caught here in the transition, begins to roll backwards and gets caught underneath the S rollers where it's flushed out the sides and onto the back of the belt. So to prevent that from happening, we added in additional flashing throughout the transition here to this flange point, as well as the grain deflector shield. The grain deflector shield is mounted here at the back of the S roller and keeps the product from rolling back underneath and promotes its movement going up the tube as opposed to coming backwards. What we noticed in our testing is that we had a specific leak rate measuring our standard units and we dropped that amount of leakage by up to 75%. Cleaning the back of the belt is imperative to preventing belt shrinkage. Brandt has replaced the standard belt wipers within the intake with a highly durable, wear-resistant urethane material that is flexible to move with the belt in operation to keep consistent pressure on the back side of the belt under all conditions. We've replaced this unit here with, uh, with the new material as well as added 
another wiper at the backside or the heel end of the intake as well as we've replaced the discharge wiper with the same material. All this does is keep the backside of the belt clean. So anytime any debris or product leakage still occurs, it lands on the backside of the belt and is carried to one of these three wipers and is cleared off. It's a V-shaped pattern inside of the intake here to basically create a snowplow effect, cleaning the debris out of the mouse hole here and just onto the ground. That way no material ever encounters the return rollers in the key areas that we identified where the majority of the crush or buildup occurs. That way we're keeping the backside of the belt nice and clean, we're keeping the rollers and bearings free of debris and material, and the entire system works that much more effectively. Along with keeping the back side of the belt clean with the wipers we've installed in these systems, we want to ensure that we keep the rollers on the return side clean and free of debris and prevent any buildup from occurring. What happens when product does leak around to the back side still is it gets crushed and it builds up on the rollers. This does two different things. It creates a saturation point pressing the oil into the back side of the belt which then could cause the additional shrinkage that we want to prevent as well as it increases the physical diameter of the roller itself and this will put undue stress on the belt as it's trying to shrink working in imposing factors there. So we've added in roller guarding to key rollers here at the intake end as well as in the S drive. And this is, uses a more rigid UHMW material that has a highly wear resistant property to it so that way you're not having to continually adjust it but it's also soft enough that it won't damage the roller because it's mounted perpendicularly against the roller itself just continually knocking off any of the buildup or debris as it encounters the roller. What happens is then the debris drops onto the back side of the belt is carried down and encounters one of the wipers that we've installed here and at the toe end of the intake and it's flushed out the side before any damage can occur. Another feature we've added to the bottom of the S drive is a removable tray. This allows you to take it out every once in a while and clean out any of the crud or dust that is collected in here before it has a chance to build up and encounter the main drive rollers or the belt itself. Throughout the extensive testing that we performed on the Oilseed Certified System, we ran a standard belt against the prototype unit. That way we always had a benchmark to understand what was occurring in both units in the same conditions. After about 33,000 bushels moved in a single day through the standard unit, we started to experience failures within the belt. When we removed the belt and measured it, we noticed that it had shrunk over 21 inches in that 33,000 bushels moved. We had yet to tension the oilseed certified unit at that point and we kept moving on. We installed an oilseed certified belt in the standard unit just so that we, we could understand the entire effect of the system involved with the oilseed certified package. We continued on, after three or four days, we had moved about 90,000 more bushels through the standard and oilseed certified unit. And again, we noticed that the belt was starting to shrink in the standard unit. We removed it and measured it once again, and we still experienced over 12 inches of shrink at that point in just the oilseed certified belt. What this indicated to us is that the oilseed certified belt does withstand the oilseed to a significantly higher degree than a standard belt, but it's the effects of the entire system that comes together to give us the oilseed certified package. As we moved on in our testing and finally achieved over a quarter million bushels of throughput through our oilseed certified unit, we removed the belt from the test unit and measured it again. And at that point, we had only retentioned the easy track system a quarter of an inch. And that translated to half an inch of belt shrink after a quarter million bushels. So compare that to the 21 inches of shr belt shrink in the standard unit after only 33,000 bushels to the 250,000 bushels moved and only a half inch of belt shrink on the oilseed certified unit. Brant Field belts include many key innovations that already set them apart from the industry, including the LP Plus intake for consistently high performance and the Easy Track tensioning system for the simplest, most easy to use side to side belt tracking adjustment and tensioning. Combine those features with the new Oilseed Certified System, Brant Field Belts are the most useful and versatile product for any farm operation. Thanks for joining me today on this walk around of the 1547 LP Plus Field Belt with the new Oilseed Certified Package. For any more questions, 
please contact your Brandt representative or visit brandt.ca.